嫦娥六号上升器六月六日成功与轨道器和返回器组合体完成月球轨道的交会对接，将装载着珍贵月球背面样品的容器从上升器安全转移至返回器中。在经历月地转移、轨道器和返回器分离等关键步骤后，按计划，返回器将携带月球样品在内蒙古四子王旗航天着陆场着陆。外界对金次月被采样十分关注。英国《自然》杂志网站在此前的报道中指出，其采集的样本是一个宝库，有望改变人们对地球和月球以及早期太阳系历史的理解。英国《卫报》称赞中国是首个勇敢尝试的国家。香港大学太空研究实验室总监 Quentin Angel Parker 六月六日接受香港中通社采访时指出，能在月球背面着陆已极具挑战性。成功采集的月背土壤，更是弥补了以往人类对月球探索的不足。The Chang'e 6 mission is like the Chang'e 5 mission. It's bringing back moon rock. So Chang'e 5 brought back moon rock from the near side, the side that we see from from the Earth. But this mission. Like the Chang'e 4 mission, landed on the far side, the part we can't see from the Earth, and it's going to bring back moon rock from that side. That's never been done. So that that makes it interesting. It makes it exciting. I mean, it's extremely challenging to have a mission land successfully on on the South Pole region of the far side near the uh, uh, you know the South Pole Aitken Basin. It's a very famous part of the South Pole with a big imp- impact. Uh, happened billions of years ago,、uh, but the fact of the matter is, there's no direct line of sight from the lander、uh, to the Earth for communication. So、uh, what they've had to do, they've had to put a, a Chiao-Chiao relay satellite called the Magpie Bridge in English. It's um, it's basically、uh, a satellite in an orbit that is able to look at the Earth and at the lander at the same time and triangulate and communicate between.、Um, The、uh, lander as it lands is very、uh, carefully landing. It's quite complicated as well, and also receiving instructions and monitoring from the Earth. So that's why it's challenging. 据了解，今次嫦娥六号月球探测器还搭载了欧洲太空总署、法国、意大利、巴基斯坦的国际载荷，一同进行科学探索。Professor Parker 认为，国际合作是科学进步的命脉，这也是作为科学家的他所希望看到的。And you, but you look back at China's space program over the last ten years in particular, and it's been nothing short of astonishing. I mean, the things that they've achieved, almost no failures. Everything's worked to the Mars, to the Moon, to the space station. You know, to their satellites they're putting up, and it's not ending there. I mean, China has a very ambitious space program. I'm a scientist, and I, I believe that international collaboration is the lifeblood of advances. Also, competition's good when you have.、Um, Competition it can spur advances and innovation. That's on the one side of the coin. On the other side, collaboration can pool resources to make something you couldn't achieve on your own achievable together.、And、I think that's the key here: is you collaborate where it makes sense, and I think that's important for building up trust and collaboration in the right spirit for humanity as a whole. You know, and let's let's get back from the confrontation. Let's get back to the collaboration, the cooperation. I mean, that's what I want to see in science. That's what I want to see on the moon. 中国探月工程中的多个重要阶段，香港都参与其中。今次嫦娥六号便是带着香港理工大学荣启亮教授团队所设计和制造的两个采样器、两个近视相机一起，完成了人类首次月背采样任务。事实上，从探月领域到探火领域，都有香港科学家参与其中，研制了相当关键的部分。早前，香港创新科技及工业局局长孙东也透露，香港至少有一人入选国家载荷专家选拔。对此 ，Professor Parker 感到非常兴奋。I don't think there's any other city in the world, perhaps with the exception of London,、uh, that has so many world-class universities in the same city. So I think that gives a very strong Basis for scientific research, and of course, you know we've been entitled to apply for payloads on the on the Chinese space station. Scientific payloads. We've just heard that the Hong Kong SAR is going to have a Taikonaut, which is really really super exciting. And so I think you know that speaks to our capacity as a, as a global city. It speaks to the talent of our young people, and it speaks to the excellence of our universities. That's the first thing. But the second thing I think is really important is our city. Is a global fintech and global financial center of excellence. We also have a very strong regulatory and compliance framework under the Basic Law. I think Hong Kong is a special case. 
under uh, under one country, two systems. It gives us a bit more leeway, a bit more autonomy to do things in a slightly different way, uh, you know, which can be very beneficial to China as a whole, I believe personally. This gives confidence to the world that we could be, as a major financial center, a conduit for investment, a conduit for investment in the new space economy. Thank you.